how to animate faces on your computer. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you how to install Set Talker, but also use a fair warning. While doing this, I got multiple virus warnings about a virus called Sire Thief. So this might mean something, it might not mean anything, but there's a lot of bad people out there. So you might want to decide if you really need this or not. But I warned you, let's get started. So because this is a little bit iffy, I'm not going to show you how to install that as an extension for Automatic 11.11. I will show you how to install that as a standalone so you can just delete it without any problems anytime you want. So here we are on the GitHub page of Sad Talker, and we have here all our files. So the first thing we want to do is to click here and you want to download the zip file. You want to unpack that zip and put it on your drive wherever you feel this is sitting good. So here we have this and inside you have a lot of files. You see there's its own vent folder. So this is standalone. It's working on its own. And down here you have a web UI bed. But we also need some additional things. So first of all, you want to create here a folder called checkpoints. And then you need to download all the files that belong in here. To do that, you want to go to my second link here for the release notes. You want to scroll down and here you have all these files. Now you will see that some of these files say zip and some of these files say tar. The tar files you do not need to unpack, the zip files you do need to unpack. So download all of this stuff here other than the source code down here, you don't need that one, into that folder. It's multiple gigabytes. Next, you want to go into the checkpoints folder. You want to look for the zip files, unpack the hub zip file that is good to go as it is, and then unzip the BFM zip file. When you open this up, you will see this has another BFM fitting folder in there. So you want to drag that folder after you've unpacked it into the checkpoints folder. So it's sitting like that and is not inside of another folder. While I unpack these zips, I got the virus warning from Windows virus security and I just deleted them with the Windows security and I didn't have any bad effects from that. I hope I'm safe now. I can't tell for sure. Now, another thing you need to do here is to download FFMPEG. Now for that, you go to this link here, also below my video, you go to your system, in this case, of course, Windows, you go to this link here, you scroll down, and there you have this file here that says full. Now, of course, to make things more complicated, this is a seven set file. So for this, you might want to use WinRAR or any kind of other software like that, that can open a seven set file and you unpack that folder. After you've unpacked that folder, you want to put it directly on the C drive and you want to rename the folder to FFMPEG so that it looks like this inside. Now here you have a bin folder. You want to double click on that so you see this and then you want to click up here in the address bar to see your actual address and you copy this. Then you go down to your search bar and you search for the environment variable for your account. You want to click on this. You want to go to paths and double click on paths. Then you want to click here on new and you want to add this address in here as a new address for your paths. After you've done that, you click on OK and on OK again. Now that we have done all of this, you want to go back to your set talker folder. You want to look for the web UI bet and you want to double click that. Now this is running through an install and can take quite a while. Again, there is no progress bar, so it might look as if it's stuck, but it is not. Just let it run until it is finished. Once that is finished, you can close it down and then open it up again. And once you've done this, as always, you get here your local URL. So you want to hold control and click on that to open up the web UI. After that, you're seeing this interface here. And when you scroll down, you also have several sample files in here. You can click on them and they will load an image and also a WAF sound file that you can use to render and animate this face. I also have a link for you for a free text to speech tool where you can choose from a lot of different voices in here and then download this as an MP3 that also works. 
But of course, this is the perfect moment for a little rap to test this out. So here we go. I'm a man on a mission, making crazy decisions, cause I follow my vision. I got all that ambition. All right, that's enough for now. Maybe also a little fantasy sound sample. I am the king under the mountain. Let's also have a look at the interface here. It's pretty straightforward, but I still want to give you some advice. So of course here you load your image. And for that, I would suggest that you use the text to image output from Automatic 11.11, not upscaled images, because otherwise you might have a long render time or even run out of your VRAM memory. Another thing you want to look into is that the face is looking either straight at the camera or at a slight angle, but not turned too much. After you've selected an image, of course, you also want to select your audio file down here. You can use different formats like WAV or MP3. So simply click here and load a file into that. Another advice I want to give you here is speak clear and speak kind of slow because if you speak really fast or you mumble, the AI is not going to really understand what's going on and it, then it can't really animate your face to that sound. Then here on the right side, we have the settings. Crop means that even if you have a longer ratio, like you see down here, this will be cropped down to just the area of the head. Then you have resize and full. Not quite sure what resize is doing because I get the exact same results as from full, but full is giving you the full resolution. And this also means that you can render pictures where, for example, you have the full upper body in the image. But of course, this is going to give you a smaller face. Then below that we have the still mode. Now this will fix the head movement and you have mostly just face movement. So there is less wiggling in the face and in the motion overall. And also it says here it has fewer hand motions. Below that you have the GF Pegan. And I would always suggest to use that because this is of course enhancing the face. And if you don't use that, I find that the results look blurry and not really good. While with that, they look crisp, sharp and really Really nice. After that, you just click here on generate. At the beginning, you want to check here if you get any kind of error reports in your command window, especially from the checkpoints. So if they are in the wrong folder or if you need to unzip or move a file, it will tell you here what kind of stuff is missing and you can fix that. Let me know in the comments if you already use this tool or even know a better one and share your results in my Facebook group and my Discord group. Thanks for watching, leave a like and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah. <laughs>